Hey guys, Tyrep here bringing you some more Warcraft 3 action. Hey, today spawning in the north we've got Moon. Playing as Night Elf and going for the Warden first, creeping up this camp. Best of some in the south where you have 120 playing as Undead, going for the Death Knight. Camp is Terran Stand in this one. Continuing on from that replay I cast earlier from the Ted Cup. Nicely down there, got some Scallies. Oh, wow, he's going straight. Or the expansion camp. I don't think Moon spotted him coming down here either, otherwise he'd come in for the dead night. Flies us down. Wanted off a little bit more creeping. Got scroll of the beast, probably not what he was hoping for. I did not even notice. He went to zero, picked up the mercenary as well, the forest troll shadow priest. Has locked into fan. We're slightly above coil range attack. there to one coil, so it doesn't pop that one off. Level two now. Even the slot open with a blink or shadow strike still hasn't decided yet. But as they grow almost complete already, I don't think Moon's going to be able to get a cancel on that. Does manage to pick up the tome. here, do some damage to the Forest Troll Shadow Priest, starting up on the tower now. Moon comes in with the Wisp, but it's too late. Lights are already down. A player's force is are under attack. Skeletons. A town is under siege. A one health on that Wisp, wouldn't have died to a coil. Both of them going to the shop. Tally staff picked up. And here we go, coming in for some harass. Moon maybe was looking to build an expansion, but nicely scouted with the skeletons. And he gets the cancel off. Now with the coal tower up, Moon's harass not quite so successful. Already got two acolytes here. More getting produced. Moon bringing the archer, going to try to go for the cancel here. Draws the coal damage with the archer. Works around to the back, but no, the cold tower Players is within is range, even from back there. So, not going to be able to get the castle on the haunted mine here. Couple ghouls chasing down the archer as well. Don't quite get it. Looks like he's maybe doing a bit of blocking. I mean, trying to go for another expansion himself. Got the Ancient of War. Most of his army over here trying to defend it for the moment. But 120 is going to be the one getting the expansion up first here. On top of that, starting up his tech now as well, so he's off to a really smooth start. Moving with Hunter's Hall, about to complete his tier 2 tech. Here comes 120's army. A player's forces are under attack. Picks off a wisp there with the coil. Moon's army ready to defend though. Expansion about halfway to complete. Drawing a bit of fire here. Ghoul's coming in from the other side now. Good split push here from 120. Coming in from both angles now. And gets the cancel. Moving with the fan. A lot of ghouls quite low after that. Oof. There we go. Picks off the wisp. Needs to stay in range. Okay, very nicely done. 120 cycling the ghouls around. Trying to block any further damage from the warden onto the low health ghouls. Could even maybe go for a surround. Oh, expertly done. Moon had to tick into blink there. Breaking free of that surround. A player's forces are okay, under attack. Double ancient protectors out the corner here. Ooh, one two zero accidentally running into the mercs. Four HP gets away there. Close call. A bunch more wisps coming down here. Moon going for a glaive throw. So it looks like he's going to try to set up a siege here. Got Nature's Blessing coming online as well. So that's good news for his trees. Oh, did he just... Oh man, I wish I saw that. Did he just deny that experience though? Got there a tiny bit too late to see.
does end up getting level 3 though. Ancient protectors eating their way in. Another ancient war coming up out the back. They have two glaive throws. A player's force ranged is army. Attack. Going to work on the Nerubian tower. Got a ziggurat. Going with the spirit tower as well. Another ziggurat potentially out the back here. Starts repairs with two acolytes. Here come the ghouls. One two zero. Not very well hand equipped to handle this. Top Spy picks up a couple mercenaries. But that's a lot of damage. The Glaive Thrower, the Ancients, they do it. So much damage per hit. 1 2 0 in a tricky situation after this. A town oh, is and he's going for a straight tech to tier attack. 3. Even amongst all of this. Going for a crypt as well. We might see maybe a slaughterhouse come down so we could get some meat wagons to try counter this. Interesting. Straight tech to tier 3 instead. Maybe Ree really wants. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Either way, it looks like his expansion is in some deep, deep trouble here. Clay throwers, towers, getting the work done. Looks like a worst here and there, but with the nature's blessing, the ancient protectors. Pretty sturdy, and Moon after this could maybe even build his own expansion. A player's force is will be so attack. well defended by the Ancient Protectors. Got the Lich in here for a bit of extra range damage, but look at the damage from those towers. Nova, no more worse, but Moon got a couple more coming in for the repairs. A town is under siege. Gonna eat a tree, walk his way in a bit further, another tower down. Acropolis in trouble next. Over, another wisp down, no more repairs, but already eating that tree, healing up nicely. And, uh, yeah, this is not attack. going well at all. Got the slaughterhouse coming down now. I wonder if he misclicked building a crypt to see a slaughterhouse. I don't know how his hotkeys are set up. Seems unlikely, but I'm really not sure what he's hoping to do with that second crypt. More ziggurats coming up at the main base. Supply stuck at the moment after losing all those ziggurats and the necropolis. So nothing the 120 can do right now. He's going to have to give up his expansion. Slow down Moon as much as he can during this process. And Moon, okay. Maybe starting up his own expansion once again, but no. Continuing with attack. Quite a lot of gold in the bank, which is why I thought. He might have been considering starting it up again. Maybe doing some taking up to tier 3. Not yet. Going to mine in some trouble. 1 2 0. Kind of powerless. Starting to pump out some siege. fiends. Got ghoul frenzy coming. Doesn't have that many ghouls left. Six, oh, seven. Okay, that's enough. Nikolai's running out to safety. A player's forces are under attack. So yeah, I feel like there was a weird response to this kind of push from one two zero, going double crypts. Slaughterhouse really late straight tick up to tier three. Maybe he thought they could just defuse that push without investing too many resources into it, but definitely wasn't the case. We were able to pressure down that expansion, and knock it out. Pulls back to do some creeping on his own. The real issue for Moon is, you know, he's got these glaive throwers. Tend not to be that useful against Undead. Going for his own expansion now. I felt like this maybe a tiny bit late for Moon. There's a little bit low on lumber though. Come on, try and take down these towers. Is that Moon not going to try and defend? Not let them fall here. In the process though. Not so good for 120. Destroy form coming online. A player's forces are under attack. Could start up his expansion again. Still got a couple spare acolytes, quite a lot of resources, trying to bank at 50 at the moment. Oh, is Moon gonna jump these into some zeppelins? That can be very, very annoying dealing with glaives and zeppelins. Oh, Undead Army finds them. Might have to buy a Zeppelin anyway. Yeah, we got loaded in. 
checking for no further expansions. Hasn't happened yet. Got Book of the Dead, but a player's destroy form tipped. Probably not going to be terribly useful. Might try and sell that. Good bone chimes, pretty nice. Well, one two zero still got so many ghouls. And moon coming into the undead main base here. Couple more towers coming online. No, nope, that was a fake out. That was the staff only. Didn't staff back either. I thought maybe the death knight would come back here to deal with this, but no, coming on the offensive. A it's tree of life, kind of hiding at the moment. One two zero, might not even spot it. No, I did spawn it. Camp all is in. Picks off one glaive thrower. Lost a couple acolytes there, considering he had two extras. Wish the army able to run out. A player's forces are under attack. Starting up the creeping over here. Maybe a tiny bit risky. Bring the drives across. Water still level four. Not quite five yet. 1-2-0, not going to let him off the hook. Coming across, looking to harass this. Let's have the ward here, remember. The town is under siege. He's going to be able to creep it in time. Destroy up in the air. Warden, blinking out to safety. About the tree of life. Not going to last long yet. Players' forces are under Might attack. even be worth considering leaving the Forest Troll Berserker there just in case Moon tries to expand there. Won't be able to. We're off to save one of the ghouls. Pocket Factory 120 looking to get a bit of a push cooking here. Big time nuke onto the Warden with the dust as well. Getting up nicely though. Onto Ancient of War here. 120 is army not terribly strong with fan. A lot of damage. Heal scroll though. Healing off a good chunk of that. Okay, Invo though to chase down that forest troll berserker. Good zeppelin action. All the delay throwers in and out. Ancient of War finally goes down. So it plays very, very similar in food counts at the moment. We're going to invest them further and further into these drives. We don't have that many fiends though to counter them really. After the moon wells. Those guys taking down the top of the factory. Oh, very close call on the warden, able to get away though. Tinker taking some focus fire, so is the death knight, both getting a little bit low. Oh boy, warden's hungry. Down goes the Tinker. Jujira's army getting quite weak here, and moon. Still with enough mana for another fan, there it goes. Far onto the warden now, wants to get the kill. There's a mana potion on the death knight, not able to get the damage in though. With the coil. Off the berserker, doesn't quite get the kill though. There's daytime however, no more juice left in the moon wells. Oh, but the fan, that's, that's just enough damage and moon managing to hang in there. So good at kiting, gonna have to town pull out as well. Ouch. Off one or two units on the exit. Moon in amongst all of this sneaky expansion down bottom left as well. So I don't know how Moon did it. A typical, <laughs> typical Moon. <laughs> how he defended that. He was fighting like a, a kind of nice choke point. Attack. Didn't really allow the ghouls to get in deep on any units. The drives with the slow poison. Moon re exploiting that. Found good utilization. Right there of the glaive throwers, even though they can be quite tricky to use. And uh, sneaking an expansion in, in amongst all of that crazy action. 120 is an upkeep. Coming down bottom left, looks like Moon gonna try to defend. His army's not looking terribly strong, but. There's one two zeros, he's got a destroyer up in the air. Not super useful against mass dryads. A player's forces are under attack. Tinker back in action now. 
And uh, switching over to an abomination. Makes sense. Only one goal for Lumber, so that could hurt 1 2 0 later on in the match. Doing a tiny bit of creeping here, even. Moon can't really creep. I don't have any experience from it, so. Not super useful. We've got one fiend back here. A player's a town is under attack. Trying to prevent the glaive throw action, I believe. Doesn't find it yet. Oh, fighting underway. Looks like an archer there with the nuke. Archer zero. Starting up a fight. Does have a lot of statues tying up his army. Still not that many fiends, but has managed to heal up the forest troll berserker. Is that a new one? I don't think it's a new one. Which on the front lines. A player's Those rides away. Right. Okay, here we go. Warden popping off some images. Oh, finds the Zeppelin. Don't take that down. Fast Troll Berserker next. Which getting a little bit low here. Going after Fast Troll Berserker first and foremost. Good fan. Fiend's getting very, very low. Got dust on the Fiend, so they can't burrow. Going after the Lich now. Lich in some trouble. Healed off. Abomination next. Another pocket factory down. Just follow that. Trying to kite above the trees. Not a good fan. He's in some trouble. Oh, saving the day for the moment. Burrow again. Gonna force another dust. No fan. No more mana on the warden. She doesn't have mana potion, but she's gonna town fall out. Back to base as well. A bomb staying alive. But in amongst all that moon, did manage to appear the tree back up to full. So he's got some time here to heal up. A player's forces are under Take attack. Take a whole bunch of consumables and make his way back down. Got two potions of healing. Starting on the repairs here. Dead mate coming through. Rocket factory down again. Has Moon bought enough time for his expansion to live? Kind of looks like it. Just here we're going to have to turn around here. Starting up the fighting, mass drives, and they rip through that destroyer. There's one coil down. I don't know if I'll bother using coil and destroyer in that situation. Now the fiends getting attack. blasted down these drives. Two damage upgrades. So they are doing some pretty nasty damage. Good time to focus far into the warden, but she's got two health potion, utilizes one of them. Which is now only quite weak. Moon appears it back up, buying some more time for his expansion. A-bomb on the run here. And picking off units as they try to reinforce onto Night Elf from the Undead Army rather. A player's forces are under attack. Quite a lot of time. Oh no, but that's level 6 Warden. Oh, and the Avatar's up now. That is really bad news for 120. Comes through Dead Knights. No more mana on the Tinker or the Death Knight. There's a lot of spirits up. Knocking on the undead units. Uh, no town portal on the death knight either, so I just has to run away from this. And try and do a bit of blocking. Going after the destroyer. It's a very, very low. Now going after the statue next. Also very low. But at least 120 did manage to a take down the expansion. However, Moon does have the slight edge walking his tree over. And Avatar is so good at just harassing. Oh no, and 1 2 0. The sloppy stuff there, running the destroyer back. Ends up losing it. I'm very curious. I don't 100% understand why 1 2 0 went for so many destroyers up against mass riots. Are under I think he made two or three of them. Maybe I'm missing something, I don't know. Avatar coming in there. 
pulls back, but now there are some corpses. The avatar to make some skeletons from. There's the graveyard back here as well, so that could be a pretty nasty push by Moon with all those spirits. Still quite a lot of time left on the avatar. A town is under siege. Dust. Oh, that's a big fan. Going after the acolytes here. Just drives coming in from the other side. Good time to attack from Moon. Bringing the spirits now as well. 1 2 0 in disarray here. Doesn't know what to do. And back in. Big fan. More acolytes down. More spirits going to come through. 1 2 0. Try to run into the back. Maybe get into a zeppelin or something. Oh, too late on the coil now. 1 2 0. Completely falling apart. Spirits just chasing down the statues. A town is under Warden siege. Waiting for a nice time to pounce. Creep is slowly whittling down that tree. Not fast enough though for 120 Avatar. They have super long time left on the timer, but enough to still be in use since there are no statues anymore. Let's limit the hero's effectiveness now. A player's forces Moon, are uh, under with attack. With a 10 food edge, but it kind of looks like almost a larger advantage. Avatar's probably pretty close to cooling down now as well, so. Let's see what 120 can do here. A decent amount of mana on his heroes at the very least. Moon can maybe try come in with a couple dead nakes. And then 120 will be in some more trouble. Okay, it's another statue out the back. That's good news. 120. Fresh avatar. Tiny bit of damage there. Not quite level 3 on the Tinker here, but still going to drop the Pocket Factory. Really even... Uh. Okay, well, coming in with these Spirits. Avatar taking some damage, but able to run out to safety. Moon coming in with the Fans. army having trouble here so much damage even the abomination is melting oil to save it for the moment just about daytime Warden getting quite low here still has the invul however and the spirits look at how many spirits that is so annoying trying to run after these drives but moon cutting away with them so effectively so hard to handle. Tinker in some trouble. Tinker's going to be up next. Let's just get another pocket factory down. Foil saving the Lich for the moment. Gets the attention onto the Fiend. Unable to get that one away. Now the Tinker activates the Invault. Focus fire on the Warden. Warden blinks out to safety Moon. Obviously he doesn't really have to overdo things here. Needs to keep that expansion alive. Let the Avatar with the Spirits do the work. And 1-2-0 throws in the towel. Wow, that was another absolute masterclass from Moon. 120 had such a good early game that staff onto the skeletons to cancel the expansion and then cancelling it again really put Moon in a bind. I felt like 120 got his expansion up so smoothly, he was in such a good position. But then Moon countering that with a tower push with the glaive throwers. And 120's response to that, I don't know, it seemed a bit weak. Maybe he knows something about that kind of tower push that I don't, but. Didn't seem to be the right way to handle things. Straight taking up there, building a second crypt, and I don't know what he was doing. Lost his expansion, and then from there, Moon just proceeded to outplay him. <laughs> Basically, just incredible micro GG. Very well played by Moon. Well, anyway, guys, wrapping that. Thanks for tuning in to some more Warcraft reaction. Until next time, goodbye, and good luck.